still have a problem. Uh oh. So I gotta fix it. All right. So I gotta call Wendell. Carry on. The brake here, car was bouncing forward. So when you put these on the trans brake, it locks between reverse and low gear and applies the band. And it wasn't applying the band, so we got to change the servo and put a billet servo in it. So I got the transmission tore apart, fixing this situation. Okay, so servo. Stay said you guys keep asking more technical stuff, so we'll get a little technical. This servo, the only way that you can adjust this particular servo is you put washers underneath it and fit it. This one, it's made by Martin Mickey, is actually adjustable. So you can turn it in, and you can actually adjust the bands. So, I'm gonna put this thing in real quick. Hopefully, uh, I do this the right way and I don't get a phone call from Mark Meek or somebody going, hey man, why'd you tell people the wrong way to put my shit in? So, this is the way I do them, right or wrong, and I may be wrong. But, the servo situation is this. Whoop, drop a gasket. Biggest thing about transmissions, motors, all that, you drop it on the floor, spray it off. Can't have any dirt on any of this stuff because all it does is just, it's gonna cause you problems. I like this gasket's in better shape. Yes, I like that one better. All right, so servo. You can't see it up inside there, but the band is right up inside of there. So when this goes in, that's what actually activates the band. That's the cool thing about his stuff being adjustable, where you can actually, instead of just guessing where it's at, or when the transmission builder first builds it, knows where it's at, well, that's all well and good unless the band starts losing adjustment, or like this, it starts moving forward on the brake. If you don't have an adjustable one, ain't gonna do you no good. You just have to pull it apart and try to shim it or put a new rod in it. This just makes it a lot easier. Makes it way easier. Plus, it's not a bad practice to turn around and check the band every so many runs anyway, just to see, because as it loses material, it's gonna lose adjustment. And the bad way to find out that it's out of adjustment is when you lock the brake and it rolls and smokes the tranny, costs you a race. And I've been there, done that. It's not any fun. Alrighty then. Now, you have to run this in to a hundred inch pounds. Hundred inch pounds. Then you take it back out three turns. One, two, three. Here's the hat trick. You have to tighten this jam nut without turning that. Which is kind of tricky. Not gonna lie. This is the part I don't think is any fun about it. Hold that up. Here we go. Little cap screw back on it. We'll, fill, we'll tighten this up, 
Put the pan back on it. See if it works. If it don't roll on the brake, it worked. If not, I did something wrong. Now I put it in a servo.